So hello to all people, managers, and HR practitioners that are watching us today. I am Jacqueline Baliena of One CISP, and I welcome you to the final segment, Perk Your Heart, of our show where we get you excited about what's upcoming and that will surely get your heart pounding. Today, we have recorded interview that was captured last TMAC NAC meeting held at Shangri-La the 4th last September 8th, where the two organizations met and discussed critical issues that our education sector is facing and how it affects the future workforce of our country. So for the interview, we asked some PMAP members what are they looking forward to in the upcoming annual conference. So we have here Julie Mitterius interview, consultant of ESSA. It's her role with the RP. Oh, I'm pretty sure for this uh, year uh, annual conference of PMAP, everybody will be excited to see old friends even after these two years of pandemic. And, I, I'm, and I'm pretty sure there will be a lot of learning with the leadership of President Ellen and the rest of the other group. There, I think she, there. So I have Joanne with me. Yeah, Thanks. she mentioned yeah. three things for me, Joanne. So uh, seeing old friends during the conference. But I think it's not just seeing old friends, but also gaining new mm -hmm. friends. I remember when I was attending before uh, the PMAP annual conference, when it was my first time, it was more of really gaining new friends. And it's not just friends nearby, but around the country because PMAP is operating nationwide. And then the second one is about a lot of learning. And in the conference, we don't just learn actually from the resource speakers. Of course, we have local and foreign experts um, invited during the annual conference. But we also learn from the showcase of the best practices, like the um, awardings for the people manager, people program, and employer of the year. And I think the last one and the most important one is during the networking session. You learn a lot from your peers. And then, of course, she mentioned also about um, the leadership of, of the current um, uh, PIMA, Press Ellen, and the rest of um, the PIMA board of directors and judges. Um, I'd like to say kudos to the current leaders because everybody's transitioning, and PIMA is also transitioning. And for really uh, having this opportunity to do a high uh, conference so that everybody will get connected. How about you, Joanne? Thank you so much, Jackie. So many things to look forward to, actually. I am so excited. The, the, the moment that I learned about the date of the conference, I immediately blocked off my calendar because I really want to make sure that I will not miss this conference. So really looking forward. And I like what you said about not just meeting old friends, but getting new friends as well. Really looking forward to that. In fact, some of the vibrant chats happening now are scheduling the coffee dates around wow. the schedule of the conference because hey let's catch up so friends coming from different parts of the country would be coming over for this conference and so there are so many appointments now or i, I mean meetups that are now being scheduled because we're really so looking forward to catch up in person and finally you know have the chance for face-to-face -face coffee again so really looking forward to that but of course i also like what you said about the learnings because i really have this question now how do we navigate this and and really looking forward to the sharing the learnings from the guest speakers from 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 the plenary discussions and of course all the different conversations that would happen in the conference and i really want to make sure that i would leave the conference with a question of what can i do for my organization for the community i am with and i'm really so excited to know how can i participate you know in in making sure that change would be sustainable so those are the things i am really looking forward to jackie wow so now let's Look into uh, the next interview by Mr. Ryan Navarro, past president of Mindanao Chapter. Madayao, naadlaw kaninyong tanan, PMAP, Annual Conference Delegates. This is Mr. Ryan Mark Navarro of IntelliCare, and I am very excited again, of course, being part of this year's co regeneration themed by at our national chapter. And of course, I am very excited as well, uh, not only by learning a lot of things during this time, because, you know, during pandemic, we were distorted with everything and uh, there are new things in the new normal. And that is simply what I am looking forward 
in this coming conference. So the countdown has already begun and I hope that we can see each other even virtually. Nagang salamat. Wow, that's very good. So core regeneration, it was mentioned by Miss Beth earlier. She explained the team earlier. Yeah, that we cannot really do things alone, especially now that we are bouncing back. We really need to uh, be together, collaborate with each other, do partnerships. And I think Team Up Annual Conference is a perfect place to actually do that. So you meet peers, uh, both HR and non-HR practitioners, but also if you're looking for consultants, if you're looking for resource leaders, for, uh, if you have trainees in your organizations, and you really build your network also when you attend the Team Up Annual Conference. And I think one of the things you, you miss out um, on a face-to-face -face conference is if there are booths, so you get to go around the booths, uh, play games, have fun with your colleagues, and uh, bring home those, some TVs from those. How about you, Joanne? I remember, Jackie, during the start of the pandemic, there were just a lot of questions in my mind, and it was really a challenge for me. But I really appreciated the Pima community. I would I, I say that a lot of the right things I did in navigating the pandemic was because of the ideas, was because of the generosity of the PMAP leaders, of the PMAP members. And that's why I'm really looking forward to this sharing of ideas again on how we can co-regenerate. So, and that's why I really hope that everyone would come and join us in this conference because it's not just, you know, uh, learning it's not just really about the speakers but it's really about how can we make a difference in the community now and acknowledging that we can do it on our own and yeah. the right partners in navigating this new terrain are the people here in pmap so that that's really what excites me yeah and i think the network that you build in pmap as well are very selfless you you really share ideas without just really share, sharing it so that you'll be able to help one another, be able to do good for the organization, be able to do good for the community. Super agree. Okay, now let's go on to our last video. It's from Ms. Mirna Viado, past president also of Mindanao Chapter. This is Mirna Viado from the Durian City of Davao. And uh, why am I excited about this AC? for two reasons. Number one, to see and meet experts in the areas of OT, coaching and mentoring, and wellness programs management. Number two, I am also very excited to see my fellow PMAPers in the country after missing the two ACs because of pandemic. And by the way, my number three part. I would like to see the Dolomite Beach. Thank you and see you. Okay, seeing the Dolomite Beach. Have you seen the Dolomite Beach? <laughs> I like that. <laughs> okay, so yeah, we have mentioned earlier about, mm -hmm. of course, we definitely have a lot of experts uh, during the conference. And she mentioned like the OD, the coaching and mentoring and the wellness program. So let me just share. Uh, did you know that I actually first learned of the PMAP mentoring program when I attended my first PMAP annual conference? So it was the reason why I actually uh, joined uh, the PMAP mentoring program and now a volunteer. And now that PMAP mentoring program is a PMAP future leaders program. So I'm, I'm really, that's one of the blessings, I think, um, of attending the, the annual conference. And also, Mental health is a buzzword, so I think we'll, we'll learn more in the conference about mental health. And it's really something uh, that we still need to do. How about you, Julia? Yeah, and, and I like it that she emphasized a mental health as well, because let's admit it, all these challenges that we face and we continue to face and we anticipate to face is really causing a lot of stress. And so listening and learning from the different speakers would, would, of course, be a great help to manage our stress and mental health. So that's really something that can definitely help us there. Yeah, so surely this annual conference would be seeing again our team members, and we are excited to see everyone at the annual conference. So that's the end of our segment. Thank you so much, Joanne, for joining me on this segment.
So I'm your uh, I'm Jacqueline Valiana. I've been your host for this segment for Cure Heart, and we look forward to seeing you all in our annual functions. Thank you so much. <laughs>